guys! Welcome to my vlog channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. It's been a very long time since I've posted anything. A lot has changed, as you can see. I got puppy. Yeah. Okay, I am filming this in my pajamas as I'm editing some vlogs that are over a year old. So I still wanted to release them, but I figured I owed an explanation for why it took so long, so I wanted to film this quick intro. The reason it took me so freaking long to edit these vlogs is because I was very busy last year. For those of you who don't know, I own my own business, Comic uh, Imagery. I'm a photographer, I mostly do concerts and band photos, but I've started to get into weddings and I do also a lot of portrait stuff. So I've been really busy with that. So it took me that long because of just being busy. And I'm still busy, but I really want to release these vlogs, so I'm editing them now. It's been really fun to kind of edit these and watch the clips again because I've gotten to kind of relive the trip that Chris and I went on last May. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, you know, all the YouTube stuff. And enjoy my trip with Chris to Europe from last year. What's up guys? Getting super excited, but also stressed. <laughs> I tried to check in online, and of course, WestJet's check-in service isn't working for me. Chris could check in, no problem. Every time I tried, it gave me a check-in error, and said like, check-in cannot be completed this time. If error persists, please see agent at airport to check in. It's like, really? I just want to check in now, so I have a peace of mind. <sighs> There's always something stressful with travel. Fingers crossed, everything's fine and everything will work out. I'm sure it is. It's just annoying <sighs> because I like checking in early so I don't have to deal with this at the airport. And I feel like I have to go there even earlier just to make sure I get in. Pretty much everything is packed um, except for this because I'm probably going to do my hair tomorrow. Depends how it looks in the morning. I mean, I'm not loving it right now. I mean, it's just to sit on a plane, but still. Yeah, so I've got packed that. Um, my Invisalign, which and obviously this is going in my carry-on. This is the main suitcase. Um, we were able to add that online on Chris's account, so that's perfect. I'm bringing my hiking bag for like overnight trips, for one day trips, so I don't have to bring a whole suitcase. Um, but I am a big fan of the rolling system, so as you can see, <laughs> I rolled all of Chris's stuff on his half mine on my half but I actually stuffed most of my clothes in my carry-on bag because even though it's never happened to me I am paranoid of my stuff getting lost bringing a pair of nice shoes for nights out but I didn't want thin heels because Europe has a lot of cobblestone roads and don't want to deal with that so this is a lot of my stuff my makeup and stuff that I don't really when I'm wearing suits my masks anyways and then all that stuff that I should do earlier just put in two plastic bags so it doesn't explode. A jean jacket, a few dresses, some pants, my pajamas are in here. And my carry-on bag. I'm not really gonna open, but got my neck pillow. Yeah, so now I just have to get flip-flops, which I'm gonna put in here. And then in my morning shower stuff, I tried my razor still, but that's pretty much it. And then just get my outfit for tomorrow ready. I'm gonna wear this t-shirt on the plane. It's really important to be comfy. And I love this t-shirt. It's a handmade piece of merch from a local musician who I think is just incredible and he's going to be huge one day. I just know it. So shout out to Steph Palm. I'm gonna wear this with some leggings which are in the washing machine right now. But we are getting very excited for our trip. It is less than 24 hours away. Hopefully everything at the airport goes smoothly. <laughs> and yeah. I'm just going to double check my list right now and make sure I've got everything. <sighs> see you guys in the morning, hopefully. Probably I'll sing up and editing, so we'll see how that goes. But see you later, guys.
mess. I always overpack. So I'm going to have to go through that stuff again. But I wanted to show you, guys, the gift I got from my host family. I wanted to get them something Canadian. Um, I'm going to get them a few more things at the airport, I think. But look at how cute this is. I can't, I gotta hang it somewhere so you can fully see it. I'll hang on the door. But like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's handmade. And yeah. Just wanted my husband to have something unique and beautiful from Canada. So yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. Um, almost afternoon. <laughs> Slept in until like 10. And then I laid in bed for like a half an hour watching TikToks of dogs getting adopted and cried at every single one of them. So that's my morning. <laughs> um, just got out of the shower. As you can tell, my hair is wet. Now I'm just going to go make us some breakfast. We've got to use up the rest of the bacon in the fridge. And we have so many eggs. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. Um, because we're not going to eat them all. It's like more than a dozen. So I guess we'll give them to my parents or something. <laughs> Um, still not able to check in for my flight, but, um, my friend, Brayden, who is a flight attendant for that airline that we're flying West Jet, told me it's not a big deal, it's usually just a glitch in the system, and I should be able to do it, no problem at the airport. Which I kind of knew, but, like, anxiety, so, <laughs> it's, like, freaking out. It's, because, like, we had to reschedule this trip so many times, I'm like, oh my god, please. Like, I don't think I'll fully feel it's real until we are on the plane in the air. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, I still have so much to do. We are leaving the house at like 2.30 to go to my parents' house. We were gonna leave at 3, but like, it's kind of rush hour. And also, like, now I need to be there earlier to check in, so mm -hmm. kind of pain. But yeah, so I'm gonna go make breakfast and then charging my camera batteries over there. Oops, I just took a picture. <laughs> um, it's kind of annoying. We don't have an actual charger for the batteries, so we have to charge the camera like three times. But the two on the floor on the right are fully charged. That one is at about like 5%. So, yeah. Doing that, and then... I'm so excited. <laughs> it's hard to focus. Um, I'm going to work on some photos before we go, because I did not get all the photos done that I had to get done before we left. So I'll probably be editing some on the plane as well. And I'm going to do my hair before we go. Double check that we've got everything. And then we'll be at the airport. And, um, I can't fucking wait. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This doesn't feel real. <laughs> hey. Hi. Say You're hi. You're videotaping me watching videos of other people video while editing a video. Videoception. Mm -hmm. This is Chris. Hi, my name is Chris. I know how to use After Effects now. Nice. Yeah. That's your introduction to my vlog channel. <laughs> <laughs> this music video in <laughs> two hours and a half <laughs> for really fuck yeah okay looking up a good video breakfast is served last breakfast in canada for two weeks classic last minute stuff my hair is wet by the way i just got out of the shower um always forgetting more things we need so i'm going to shoppers drug mart um for all my canadians out there watching which i assume is most people watching this um, 
but you never know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to Shoppers and get a few last minute things that we need to pack, even though we were literally just out and could have got them. <laughs> okay, I what I needed. Ended up going to Superstore, not Shoppers, but um, let me. Got this rain jacket because I really needed one, but I didn't want to spend a fortune because we don't get that much rain here. Flash forward to me like months from now soaking in the rain in Calgary. Some freezer bags because um, I like to pack my liquids in the suitcase in these so that if it leaks, it's not all over my clothes. Some floss and some shampoo for Chris. So. Hopefully that's everything now, because I do not want to come back out to the store. <laughs> Chris is eating cheese. My pinky's in the frame. Whoa, demonetized. Whoops. <laughs> you can't bring me anywhere. Apparently not. But I'm bringing you to uh, Europe. Bad choice. Now we're just sitting here waiting to leave. Yep. Because we were too eager and now we have extra time. <laughs> Which is like, rare for us because usually it's yeah i mean we could you know, load the car up right now oh yeah and then oh, well. i think the big suitcase is still upstairs so Fuck. <laughs> I, go, I go grab messy bed that's fine packing checklist good let's make sure we quadruple check because i always notoriously forget something looking good maybe we'll just close the toilet <laughs> Watered all my plants yesterday. Goodbye, beautiful moon cactus. You will be missed. Grabbing this beautiful galaxy suitcase. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Oh, Jesus. There, now you can enjoy me struggling. part of traveling is just like sitting around waiting for the trip to start so we packed the car up suitcases are in the trunk we like unplugged all of our electronics to save money on electricity pro tip you should definitely do that and uh, still can't check in because WestJet hates me it's fine but yeah I'm just sitting in the car painfully waiting <laughs> for um, time to go by faster so we can meet because I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're driving to my parents' house first. Chris will be in here in a minute, hopefully. He's chilling inside. And I was getting antsy, so I was like, I'm just in the car and then maybe the time will go by faster. Probably well, won't, but whatever. <laughs> so we're going to Germany. I guess I'll, like, maybe I'll give you guys a little breakdown, kind of, of, like, our plans, um, while we're there. So, we leave tonight at 7.30 p.m. It is now 2.30 almost, which is right at 2.30. We're gonna drive to my parents' house. My mom's off work at 3.30, so she's gonna drop us off at the airport. My car is going to my next shop while I'm gone, so this works out perfectly. Yeah, and then our first flight is from Calgary to Paris. Which we won't be sitting any time in Paris on the way there, but we will on the way back, so that's exciting. And we have a three hour layover in Paris, which seems like a lot of time, but I know it's not because I had a three hour layover in Frankfurt when I moved to Germany last time, and it was not enough time. <laughs> like, I was hustling to get to my gate, so hopefully it's not too bad in Paris. Neither one of us speaks French, so. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> but yeah, then um, we are supposed to arrive in Munich on Saturday, so tomorrow at 5 p.m. Munich time. So that is about 9 a.m. in Calgary. So we lose a day going, but we gain one coming back. Um, that's fine. And yeah. My house family, who I lived with, um, who I was naming for, I wasn't up here. Um, if you want to see anything about that, go check out my old 
videos. They're not very well done, but I didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to kind of document my time living in Germany before. I feel like a real vlogger now, sitting in my car talking to my camera. <laughs> Um, so they're gonna pick us up from the airport. Hopefully I accidentally didn't update them that our flights changed So they thought we were landing at like 7 40 p.m But I sent them an update so hopefully they can still pick us up otherwise we'll just take the train It's no big deal. It's just kind of annoying the suitcases to take the train and then Probably go out for dinner. I'm not sure I can go to bed It'll be, We'll be tired. I know it already we will be tired. And then on Sunday, we are going to Neuschwanstein Castle in Füssen with my house family, which I'm excited for. I saw Neuschwanstein before when I was there. I went with my parents when they came to visit me. But it was like winter and snowy. It was absolutely beautiful, but some of the rooms were closed because it's the off season, so they were doing construction. So I'm hoping more stuff is open this time. And um, hopefully the weather's good to us. It's supposed to rain a lot while we're there, which our fall for booking this time of year, but it's my birthday next week and our anniversary, so I wanted to you know to kind of celebrate those two things. I talk really fast. <laughs> I'm just noticing. <laughs> we'll have some days in Munich as well. On the Monday, I think we're gonna go to I don't I can't tell the days anymore. We're, we're gonna go to Dachau on the one day that's the concentration camp I went to before. You can check out that video. I don't know if I'm going to video that experience much. I want to do other things in Dachau this time because the city itself is beautiful and there's more than just the concentration camp there. So I want to do that. We're going to have a day in Munich, just go to the Fußgängerzone and um, show Chris all of the magical main touristy things in Munich. But we're going then on the 18th to Nuremberg, Nuremberg. And there's a few things I didn't get to see there when I was there with my friend Catherine before, so I'm hoping to see those. And then for dinner, we're gonna go to, it's like a half hour train right north to Bambiak, which is where my friend Greta lives. And we're gonna have dinner there, and we're gonna stay at Greta's place, and we're gonna go for some drinks afterwards with Greta, which should be lovely, because she's not three till nine. Totally okay. Um, I know it's like a busy season for university students, um, so I'm just grateful she's letting us stay with her. It's gonna be awesome. Maybe you'll see her, maybe you won't. Depends on if she wants to be my vlog or not. And um, yeah, and then on the 19th, my birthday, um, we will be having breakfast in Bambi, maybe, or at the train station. Not, not quite sure yet. And then we're going to be going to Kaltenberg auf der Taube, um, which is like a beautiful fairy tale town uh, in Bavaria. And I always wanted to go there. My high school German teacher always talked about it, and I actually messaged him to get um, like some recommendations. And he sent me, as he always does, like a very long novel of things that we could do. And I'm really excited about that. Um, such a beautiful, beautiful place. And I'm excited to be there for my birthday. And then we'll head back to Munich at night. And then the next day, I find something. It's probably like BMW World and Olympia Park. We're doing that one of the days. <laughs> I don't remember the order I put them in. I have it written down. We can do that. We'll have like a day to just like hang out in Stanberg and I can show him the city that I lived in. And um, we're gonna film a video at some point of us like trying German snacks. I wanna see his reaction to some of my favorite things that I ate all the time while I was there. And yeah, and then on the 23rd, which is our anniversary, we are going to Wien, Vienna in Austria, which I am so excited for. I've always wanted to go there. Um, this is really like a dream come true. We were going to do Salzburg, but I've already been there, and I know it's beautiful, but it'd be cool to see something new. So the 23rd is our anniversary, um, two years together, so we're going to go to Vienna for that. We're staying in a cute little Airbnb near... Palace, and yeah, so we're gonna do Schoenplan. We have a reservation at a very nice um, Viennese restaurant. I guess I said Viennese, not Vietnamese. Um, <laughs> so food from Vienna, and um, I'm really excited about that. It's really well rated and looks amazing. We're also gonna go to Potovin. Um, it's an amusement park there. It's open to like midnight almost. I think that's what I read. So we're gonna go there after dinner. It's gonna be fun. We're going to an illusion museum. I'm super excited about that. That's gonna be awesome. And Chris is super stoked on that one too. So 
it's gonna be fun. And then we'll come back on the 24th. We're going to a concert, um, State Champs. They're playing music, so we're gonna go see them. It's supposed to be just like a chill day anyways, so not really sure what we're gonna do during the night, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna have to have plans for every single day of the trip. I gotta tell myself that, because I'm a big planner. Taurus vibes over here. The trip's gonna go by so fast, oh my God. We'll have a few more days. Oh, we're gonna on a Sunday. On the Sunday that we're in Munich, we're gonna go do a museum day because hot tip if you're in Germany, a lot of museums on Sundays are free or very low price for admission. So definitely do museums on the Sunday. I'm all over the place. I'm just excited, okay? <laughs> Anyways, and then on the Friday, the 27th, is our last, uh, well, the 26th is our last full day in Munich which is so sad. Uh, we're leaving pretty early in the morning on the 27th. We're flying to Paris and spending a day and a half in Paris, which I know is not enough time, but it's gonna be amazing. Um, actually, we're gonna be leaving our luggage with a family friend of mine. He actually used to babysit me when I was really little. It's gonna be cool to see him again. He lives in Paris, so he's gonna let us put our luggage at his apartment. He gave me some amazing recommendations for restaurants for dinner. We're gonna do all of the Paris things, the Louvre, Notre Dame, even though you can't go inside. Um, anyways, um, and we're gonna do the Eiffel Tower. We weren't able to get tickets ahead of time, so we're gonna have a wait in the line, which sucks, but I've been doing research of what's the best time of day to go to for the shortest line, so hopefully that helps. I would really love to do the catacombs um, because that's so cool. And yeah, and then on the Saturday, the 28th, we are fly back home and back to reality so it's gonna be a whirlwind of a trip but i am so excited so let's fucking go vlog update my feet hurt cheers i know we made it he isn't in mention yes. <laughs> you're cute hello <laughs> <laughs>